Welcome back students. This is the fourth and final video comparing human skeletons to chimpanzee skeletons. We are gonna be focusing on the lower half of the body, um, talking about how humans and chimps are built differently. And most of this is gonna focus on why humans walk bipedally on two feet and chimpanzees are quadrupedal or walk on all fours. First thing we're gonna look at is the longest, strongest bone in the human body, the femur bone. Our femurs are very long to help support our weight of walking on two feet. The femur bone in chimpanzees is very short and that is because they walk on all fours and do not have to have as much weight on that femur bone. Next thing we're gonna look at is the ilia or pelvis region. If you notice, our pelvis region is much smaller and much shorter and our hips and our knees are not in line. You can see there's a definite angle inward from your hip to your knees, and that is what allows us to balance when walking on two feet. So our pelvis is very short, and you have that inward angle. For a chimpanzee, their pelvis is very long, and if we look at the angle, their hips and knees align in a straight line right on top of one another, and that helps them balance and walk on all fours versus Ours is out of line and our pelvises are much shorter, which helps us balance on two feet. In addition, our ilia or pelvis is much wider than a chimpanzee's, much wider, and is shaped like a bowl, which helps with balance when we are walking on two feet. The chimpanzees, their um, pelvis is much more narrow and it's flat, and that allows them to have balance when they are walking on all fours. So the pelvis bones are very, very, very different between the two and a clear indicator of if you walk on all fours, quadrupedal, or if you walk on two feet and you are bipedal. Making our way to the back of the skeletons, you'll notice at the back, we have the cossack bone or the tailbone. Chimpanzees is very long. Ours is very short. Your tailbone or anything with a tail has to do with balance. Chimpanzees, because they travel on the ground and in trees, need a longer tailbone for balance. We are bipedal and we do not really go in trees anymore, so we have a much smaller um, tailbone. Animals that have very long tails, like leopards that are long and thick, it's because they need balance when they're moving around in the mountains or in the trees. All right, speaking of our hip bones, I'm gonna come back to hip bones one more time. In humans, we can tell the difference between a male and a female by the width of their hip bones. Females have much wider hip bones, and that is because carrying a baby during childbirth and having to stand upright, you need a wider bowl-shaped um, hip bone setup. This is also, um, so if we find a skeleton, we can tell if it's male or female because of their hip bones. And during pregnancy, a female's hip bones actually even get wider to make room for the baby. In chimpanzees, they have narrower hip bones and they do not really have a distinction in males and females between the width of their hip bones. And that's because when they're pregnant, they walk on all fours. They don't need those wide hip bones for balance when walking on all fours. If you notice um, in humans, all right, we have very large hip joints. Look how big that ball and socket is and very large knee joints to balance all of our weight on two legs. In chimpanzees, our hip socket and our knees are very small, much smaller because they do not have to balance as much weight on their hips and their knees as humans do. Finally, the last three, we are going to go down and look at the feet of humans and chimpanzees. One thing to notice about human bones in our feet are this gigantic toe bone, okay? Notice how big and thick the toe bone is compared to the other four toes. That's because humans need that large toe bone uh, for balance when walking bipedally. In general, humans have um, straighter toes and they have smaller toes than chimpanzees and one thing we do have in our foot and it's kind of hard to see on the skeleton but if you look at your foot you'll be able to see it we have an arch 
here in the back, an arch to our foot, and that has to do with absorbing shock while we walk. That's why here we have arches to our feet. If you look at the chimpanzee foot, there is no arch, it's very flat right here. All of the toe bones look to be roughly the same size. They do not have that giant big toe, but their toes are much longer and they are more curved. That is because chimpanzees can pick things up with their toes. It's almost like having an extra set of hands. So the feet between the two are very distinct with the toe bones, the shape of the feet, and the presence or absence of that arch. There's that arch in the foot right there. All right, once again, please finish up your notes. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks guys.